revolution. Look, Marklins, on standby. Log online. Sam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast. I'm Pistol Pete from Spockholm, and tonight I have, or tonight, today, we're recording today. So it's, <laughs> I have Jana, Death by Gucci. Boy, that still takes a while to get used to that without that Mig in there. I know. I've always been Mig. It is hard for me sometimes. And it kind of rolls off the tongue nicely, so. Yeah, it's easy, because then I've been playing with other ideas of other families, and I'll even say them out loud to see if it would sound <laughs> if, right if you say it. See if they work or not. And nothing's working right. Oh, I'm like, man. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who to be. I'm just going to have to be Death by Gucci. There you go. Well, yeah. Jen, Jen is actually resting, because we kind of got mixed up last night. I, as I said on the last show, I was out in San Diego, and I've got a... Um, I got back in late last night, which is our normal recording time, and it just was so late that we couldn't really record, and so we decided to do it in the morning, and Jen's not a morning person, so we're without Jen for the moment. Hopefully, she'll show up after a bit and can fill us all in on all the action going on in the game and all the game changes. So, Or she might just sleep through the day. <laughs> That's true, too. Yeah, I had a good time in San, San Diego. I, I should have tried it? to really do a meet and greet somewhere, but just timing-wise, it wasn't really going to work out. I didn't realize you were going to be gone so long. Yeah, I was out there, uh, left last Saturday, and then I came back, uh, well, Thursday night, so. I know, we'd be writing in the room. I'm like, where is Pete? <laughs> Pete! And He's then I look in quiet. all the other rooms that I would think you would be in somewhere, and I'm like, I can't find Pete anywhere. All, all quiet. Yeah, it was pretty quiet this last week. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So you're all settled back home? Yeah, back home now. Just getting things back together again, answering all my emails and everything else that piled up while I was gone. So Well, not having Jen here this morning kind of makes me feel bad we didn't go ahead and try last night. Yeah. I watched Wally with my son for he'd never seen it before. It's such oh, a cute a good movie. One. I forgot it. Yeah. I forgot how cute I like. I forgot I liked that movie so much. So but we watched that last night and by the time you guys were ready, I was like half asleep yeah. and I actually had planned on having a drink and relaxing and I'm like I'm <laughs> going to bed I gotta tell this funny story though of my trip out there because we went to Legoland oh sweet yeah and here was the deal you know when you go we wanted to go just shopping obviously because we didn't uh, it was me and two colleagues and they uh you know, we weren't going to go to the amusement Your park. Your kids must want to beat you. Yeah, my, my, my boys were very unhappy with me, yeah. as a matter of fact. But anyway, so we go to the go to the park, right? And I'm, and I'm thinking, you know, I ask, I said, well, where's the gift shop? Because it's not outside like you'd expect that, like, you can just go to the gift shop and then you yeah. can't get into the park. And they said, no, you actually have to go into the park in order to get it. But you can get a guest, you know, a, a shopping pass over at customer service. So I thought, okay, that's pretty neat. So I had this like half a second of mwahaha moment. I was like, <laughs> well, what's going to stop me from just staying in the park? Sneaky. Mwahaha. <laughs> and I started doing this old sinister laugh thing, right? And everybody, you know, the people I'm with are cracking up. So then all of a sudden we get up to the customer support desk counter and we say, okay, well, we need a shopping pass. Well, here's how this works. What you have to do is you actually have to pay for a full day's pass and then – you have to be out within an hour and you'll be completely refunded. Uh, and I'm like, oh, dang, they killed my mwahaha moment. I was, yeah, so it was like 275 bucks for us to go in and go shopping. and then So a deposit. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. And then we rushed through the shopping experience because you didn't want a chance not being out on time. And then we left. So. Oh, what a drag. Oh, gosh. I and don't know. I, I think I would have skipped the gift line and uh, just headed for the closest roller coaster. Yeah, <laughs> like, just just tried to squeeze clock. in one ride before you got it back out again. Just start bribing people to get you to the front of the line. Yeah, but it was kind. Of, I was kind of a little bit disappointed in their um, in the actual gift shop. I mean, while they had lots of cool Lego stuff and they had a whole wall of like you know big Lego kits and things like that, and I, you know. When I was in Chicago, we went to the, one of the Lego stores, and they had like you know um, 
container after container of different colored blocks and yeah, all kinds of things. Yeah, that's how our store is. And I did not see that at Legoland. Now, no. it's possible that maybe their main gift store is different. They may have sub gift stores elsewhere out, you know, elsewhere in the park. Because we didn't obviously do the whole tour of the park. We went straight to the... They probably have a monochrome store somewhere that that just... Like, that's how they did at the Lego convention. Uh Is there was, like, a pink section. And then, like, you know, there was different sections set off for people. So maybe... I don't know. I would be... My son would be disappointed because he's always... You know how kids are always looking for that one piece? Well, my boys have all all been on the hunt for pink blocks because they want to make flamingos for their mom. Uh huh. You gotta fan. go with Lego Friends set to get that. Yeah. Now you gotta go with the Lego Friends. But yeah. So we've been. So that was the thing. I was gonna see if I can find some just specifically pink blocks, but I couldn't find them. So. Oh my I, gosh, I, and, you should have been at that convention with me then, because yeah. you couldn't help. There was there there was seriously millions of pink pieces in just one spot. Wow. Yeah, you would have had a hard time. <laughs> Not finding them. No. Like, yeah. Um, so anyway, that's what we that's what we did, and then we uh, just didn't you know some of the scenic scenic thing scenic touristy touristy things yeah <laughs> but it was funny too i was telling jen off air you know we i was in san diego and of course everybody talks about the smog and stuff like that and it's funny you look up and you see the sky and it's still blue and you know it's just like looks overcast so mm-hmm. it doesn't look like it's really smoggy i expected the way people talk about smog is that you're going to look up and the sky's black yeah <laughs> be like walking through <laughs> But, um, darkness anyway, but we had a, had a good time. The conference was good. We had, uh, it was definitely an experience. So, well, we've just been completely inundated with fire. I mean, I cannot think of anything other than fire. Yeah. (laughs) So that's just been so out of control. I, God, my prayers go out to just the whole, you know, I did a bunch of research because I've been working with Zynga on a relief effort. Yeah. And so I, I, and this was as of a week ago, there was 1.1 million fires that have burned across the country this season. My goodness. Of acres, I should say. 1.1 million acres. That is so much. And that's just really, really scary. And a sign of like the global warming. I don't know about you, but when I saw the country's map on the news last night, most of the country is in the 90s to 100s. Hmm. It's hot and it's only still June technically. So... I see my future at the water park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I plan to just, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a boat. Stay by the water. That's for sure. And thinking a lot about that. So, mm-hmm. Well, what about the game? Did you have a chance to play at all? or I played a little missed- bit, and I saw some of the new stuff that came out. And, um, you know, like there are a few new goodies. the hellish hydraulics. That's kind of a different type of event. Uh, that may have been what Jen was alluding to a little bit when she said that we're going to get something a little bit different. That's what I was going to ask her. So So it's basically you ask for parts, and those parts, then you apply them to whether or not you really want to attack item or defense item or both. And then as you add more building parts to your item, you upgrade it to get it from, you know, bronze to silver to gold to, I'm sure, probably ruby and emerald, ruby I and think. emerald and all the way up. Yeah, and there's, you know, two days or something left with that. And then you can craft either all along the way or you can craft just up until you get the last you know to the highest level and each time you craft then it changes the number of consumables parts and then when the event ends we collect all at the same time correct what i understand yeah i'm guessing that that's what she was talking about that was different although it's it's not completely different than something we've done but a little bit yeah i mean it's kind of like when we did the football stuff and yeah, other things you chose, but then a it's different. Extent, yeah, it's just it a, definitely is taken on its own. Yep. And I didn't know. I, at first, I actually thought it was the family property right when I logged in, and I thought, oh, it came out. But then um, Nestor corrected me. Yep. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a family property, too, when I first glanced at it. And then, I, then I, you start understanding a little bit more about what it is. And then, yeah. And it's not, it doesn't have a very long time period to it. Because it was only like, what, four days or something like that? Yeah. Or five days when it first came out. Jen had have the details. This is why we missed Jen so much. I know. Jen, wakey, wakey. Yep. So, but um, I'm, you know, trying to think. Well, I know in Spockholm that one of the key things that changed this week was that uh, Ike did a little bit of a, a modification to the property manager where you now have a little bit more control over which items you can go ahead and collect in each city. 
oh, um, nice. which makes it a little bit nicer if you're wanting to collect just, you know, your stamina in um, uh, whatever. London yeah. or Brazil. Exactly. So you can craft, not craft, but collect on those individually if you want to. So that's a little bit nicer and it's got a nicer layout than before. So it should Does be it let you click your to fill up your property first? Um, to uh, what what would be add the crew to it? Uh, yes, it does, so that you can get the extra bonus. Right. Yeah, it's it still does that. The Taskmaster and the Guardians. Okay. Those good. are two options, and they're just check boxes. You check them if you want to actually perform that particular step. Oh, nice. So that's kind of nice. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, I don't have a lot of detail on this because I caught this in passing, but um, Defender, which was an app, you know, a Spocklet that was written to actually make recommendations on which items to use with your actual properties. Um, I think they've been working on a, um, a modification to that. Um, one of the jokes was that it could be called the dumpinator now. So that like if there's items that you got that you claim that you never should have gotten and you know, because there's right. been that argument because of that glitches because and whatnot. the glitches, they just ended up in your account. Well, you can use the Defender to do a dumpinator, and uh, you can actually just dump those items into your properties, and then you don't have them. And I know Jen mentioned that once before. But there's something else that they were talking about. I didn't catch a, a whole lot of it, so I apologize. But hopefully by the next show, there'll be a new feature in, in the Defender that... Um, We'll give some more information, and and I'll I'll talk about it next time. So awesome. And then I'm just trying to think what else we got in the game. I mean, I'm finding nowadays ices and ices are more, harder and harder to come by. I can't get 150 a day to save my life. See, and I, you know, and I'm finding that that's more common now. And I I I know we're we're having a family debate now about you know we set an icing limit, and now we have so many family members that are struggling to get it. I mean, and these are good family members, active, participate in the family. They're, you know. Yeah. And then now all of a sudden we're probably going to be booting a whole bunch of people because we've set a threshold that is very, very difficult to meet. I -hmm. usually get it every day, but by the skin of my teeth. See, I just, if I would have to buy stamina to be getting it. Yeah. I can't, I, I don't, I couldn't even tell you. I think it's been since I was in a war, you know, with whoever, at some time or another that I actually spent that much time on a target. But when you're going through the fight list, it's not as easy. Right. And even with assassinator, it's not as easy. Yeah. They're, so, they're few and far between and I've got pretty high attack and defense and I'm not getting them all that regularly. So I can't imagine with some people with some much lower scores, how few and far between between it really is for them. Yeah, because uh, there's been several families that have been talking to me about coming over and I've been, you know, weighing out my options and thinking about what would actually be fun for me in the game to try to try to boost some enthusiasm back into me. Right. And I keep telling everyone, you know, I rarely get the 150 ices. It's nothing else that I have to say that about. Right. I never have to say, you know, I don't get the property. I don't get this. It's just, I just warning you, I rarely get 150 ices. So if that's a, a factor, then just leave me out of it because I don't want any pressure. <laughs> huh. That's kind of how I've been. But I'm telling you, I'm getting really bored in this uh, little lonely family of shadows. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's kind of boring. I kind of miss, I, you know, I'm a social player. And so that's something I'm trying to figure out. But yeah. So you have to think about that. What if you get booted out of your own family? I know that's well. Fortunately, <laughs> I'm only one of the three that can boot. So the question will be: Is are we going to boot ourselves? <laughs> we well, have since just... decided that because we didn't meet the criteria, we we're actually dropping out. We're going to join Jenna's lonely little family. <laughs> or you can be an ass, but they have requirements too. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what we're going to do yet. I we may have to just put a suspension on the. On the I say agreed icing keep... count until we can at least confirm that it's it's gotten more reasonable again. I say we keep on to Zynga about adding robbing to the progression. I think that's the key. I mean, if they can do that, then that makes a big difference. And th- then there's a lot of people that, you know, are not excellent fighters, but they've mm-hmm. got a way to burn their stamina and they're still helping out the family at the same time. I'm Exactly. Yeah, I really think that happen. I think that that's what we really should 
hope, hope that they will focus on is maybe changing that progression so that we're not all working so hard to get the 150 ISIS. Well, and that would alleviate some load too on the actual fight module. So if that's been a concern of theirs for a while, then, you know, obviously now people will be busy doing something else and you'll get a balance between those people that are fighting because they like to fight and those people that are just trying to 